my in, love? I'm in. I don't normally do stuff with you at the same time. No, no. I don't. Uh, today we are going to do on Big Oggy World. It's Big Oggy World, isn't it? We Not are only in, golf, no, we're in Big Oggy World. Lovely. Hi everybody, welcome to Big Oggy World. Today we are going to take a recipe from Delicious Magazine. It's an old Delicious. It's one of the recipes that I've ripped out and saved. Yeah, it's one of the ones that... Um, so I don't know which, it, which one it was. If you go on Facebook, you'll see your picture of you with a mug of tea, ripping out all these yeah. things on our Facebook group. Um, so this is from an old book but it's going to be a great recipe. We are doing air fryer chicken wings with a pomegranate glaze. We are. According to this. Now, I have been told this is quite complicated, but it's also can take two minutes. Yeah, it's not complicated per se. You have to prepare your chicken wings. That's the easy part, not a problem. The sort of slightly complicated part, although it isn't, is that we are going to put a dry rub onto the chicken wings. And then the ideal thing to do is to leave them on a wire rack over a dish in your fridge to air dry overnight. Okay. Because that makes them crispier when you put them in the air fryer. But if you don't have time to do that overnight. Just stick rub on. You can stick the rub on and like maybe stick the rub on in the morning and then cook them in the evening. Okay. So ideally overnight. Okay. But if you haven't got overnight, leave them for as long as you possibly can. So, so it's can. a little bit time consuming, but also it doesn't have to be because you can literally just yeah. do this and whack it straight in the air fryer. Yeah. They'll, they'll be fine. They just they won't will be, be fine, perfect. but they won't be like. Exactly. Like that. that. So. I'm going to go behind camera. Okay. Okay, get out of your way because you were using sharp knives. Um, before we carry on, we're going to show you how to prepare the actual chicken wings. So Kelly's just done this in advance. Yeah. So we're going to show you that now. So I will cut to Kelly in a little bit more of a close up and then she'll be back. So to prepare the chicken wings, it's very easy, but it is a bit fiddly. Chicken wings come in three pieces. Uh, First of all, you need to cut the tip off because they're really no good for our recipe. But if you're into making stocks and broths, etc., then save them, put them in the freezer and save them until you've got enough and use them for your stocks and stuff. Mm -hmm. That will leave you with the two main parts of the chicken wing. The easiest way to do it then is to bend it backwards until you hear a crack and that will be the joint cracking. And then you need to cut around that joint with a sharp knife, cut through the joint itself so that you then have two pieces of chicken left. You'll have a flat piece, which is the actual wingy bit, and you'll have like a mini drumette, a tiny little drumstick. Once you've done it, you'll see exactly what I mean. Okay, so that was how we prepared the chicken. Just a little note there. If you're preparing raw chicken, please make sure you wash everything down properly after because we really don't want anybody ended up with salmonella food poisoning so that's important with raw, raw chicken so first off we're going to make a dry rub to put onto our chicken wings um i'm doubling up because i bought a pack of chicken wings the recipe asks for 500 grams the pack i bought at the shop was a, a kilo that seems to be how they come because I guess they're cheap. I think they were about two quid for a kilo. Yeah, cheap so, this. Yeah, this is gonna be like fab. And if you're like, at the moment, me and John are really into watching films. So if you're like that, and you wanna sit and watch a film, what a perfect snack you can have. Just absolutely. Absolutely. Something a bit delicious. So I'm doubling up. So the first thing you're gonna need is some salt, sea salt. And I'm gonna need two teaspoons I will add the ingredients list in the description yeah. below. So if always. you're only doing 500 grams, it's what one teaspoon. In fact, what I'll do is I'll make my thing and you can read the recipe in the bottom so you know what you're using. So, salt, sugar. Normal sugar doesn't have to be, you know, brown or anything like that, just normal sugar. Garlic. Garlic powder for a change? Yeah, garlic granules. Okay. And obviously you're needing to look at the recipe because you discovered because everything I'm doubling up. the max is not good. If people have watched our cocktail recipe, they'll know when we double up, it's not good. Right. The thing that is going to make your chicken wings deliciously crispy is this. And it's just baking powder. 
but it changes the pH of the skin or something and it makes it go all crispy and yummy. Did you do science in school? Were you very good at biology? I actually yeah. was very good at science yeah. in school, but I really was. You read that off the magazine, though, didn't you? I, I sort of read it in yeah. advance, but it's true though, it works. I think there was something else we used baking powder for recently to change the I honestly can't think there. we've done so many recipes of like, and which is good. That is your dry rub. So we're going to give that a stir up because you want it all to be mixed in. I would give you a close up, but there's nothing to see really. It's just a bunch of powders. It is. I make sure there's no like big lumps in it. What, right. what Kelly is doing that, I would just like to explain the part why it looks so scrappy today. The um, weather. I know. I had to go to the post office to pick up a uh, package which um, wasn't um, spotted when we came home. No. Uh, and we've had a massive storm here today, so I'm sorry that my hair is a bit lank and the clothes are disgusting. It's all. I believe it's Storm Noah. Storm Noah. I believe 70 mile an hour winds out there right now. It was fun, honestly. It's not very good around here. When we have a storm, we really have a storm. So, this is our. Um, mix our dry rub and we're going to just sprinkle it over our chicken like so now if you're very clever you can toss them around but i'm not that chefy person so i'm afraid i'm going to resort to a good old spoon try and make sure that you've got your chicken covered though you know there's some on all of it There we go. And then I have got a small baking tray and my boiler wrap and we are going to, I'm going to use my fingers because it's just going to be easier. We're going to lay them out on our rack. Obviously make sure that it's not going to go over the side of your rack because the last thing you want is a load of chicken juice in your fridge. I guess it's a bit like when we did the bacon. It kind of draws some of the fluids yeah. out and then kind of pulls it back in again. But yeah, there may be a few drips overnight. So again, just, just play safe in your fridge, make sure there's nothing underneath. It smells lovely sort of garlicky but sweet because I guess the sugar in it. So this is your initial dry rub and then there'll be a wet glaze to go on top. At the end. At the end, okay. So try and sort of leave a little bit of space between but you know don't worry if they are sort of slightly touching. Obviously we got more than most yeah, people will be absolutely. needing so we'll do our best. We always do our best here. There we go. So there's our chicken and that is stage one. That is going into the fridge and it will remain there all night until tomorrow. And tomorrow we will come back and complete the recipe. How so, much simpler can it well, be? It, it is simple. It's just that little bit of time consuming bit at the uh, in the middle, which we're going to do now. Yeah. So um, we will see you tomorrow, but don't go away because you'll be seeing us in about three seconds. We'll be back. Hi everyone and welcome back. So this is a whole 24 hours really later. Um, the chicken wings have been sat in the fridge all that time and they're looking dry basically, which is exactly what you want. So I've preheated my um, air fryer to 200 degrees and that's all ready to go. So the next step is to put all of your chicken bits back into a bowl and then we are going to do the thing that you basically every time you use the slow cooker, uh, not slow cooker, air fryer have to do and that is to add a little bit of oil and toss or mix whatever it is you're going to put into your air fryer. 
that out of the way. Obviously make sure that you give that a really good wash because it's had raw chicken sat on it. So we're going to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm using two, remember, because I've doubled up. So you're gonna use one. But remember, don't worry, because John is gonna put all the ingredients and the amounts in the comments below or the section below. So put your little bit of oil in. And give your chicken a bit of a mix around so that it's got a little bit of oil on it because that's going to help it crisp up and cook. And then what we need to do then is to take your air fryer and put your wings in. You can hear it sizzling because it's been preheated. Put them in on a single level don't pile them up and try and leave a little bit of space between each one now that might mean that you have to do this in um batches but that's absolutely fine because it's going to taste brilliant so i've got about nine in that one I suppose we're lucky because we've got a double fire that we can put more in. Um, but if you're doing just the same amount as it says on the recipe, if you've got a double air fryer like ours, you'll be able to get them all in without a problem. We're going to have to... I guess the point is with air fryer, you need air to circulate around. Absolutely. And that's the key thing, is to make sure you've got circulation. So I'm just going to see if I've got two left and I can get those in here. One there. We were saying the other day that air fryers really aren't fryers, are they? They're like mini ovens. They are mini ovens and I've just, I'm finally getting used to mine now because it's a new one that we bought. Um, the original one was a round, deep round one. So it's yeah, taken me a little like bit our Oh, right, yeah. It? yeah. So it's taken me a little bit of time to get used to this one, but now I have, I can really see how it's cutting down the cooking time. So you're going to heat your um, air fryer now to 200 degrees and you're going to put them in for 16 minutes. About halfway through, so about seven minutes or so, we are going to give the baskets a bit of a shake and turn over our wings. So we'll come back when we're at that stage. Okay, so they've been in about seven and a half minutes. I'm gonna stop them and take a look. Yep, they are cooking lovely. I don't know if you can see. Fizzling away, so I'm gonna turn them over. It smells wonderful. But obviously, this is only the first part of the smelly vision. Excuse me. Multitasking, aren't we? Yeah. This one yeah. Washing, machine, washing machine, a lot going here. It is a home, proper home kitchen, it's not a set. Right, that's one basket turned. a chicken picker person or would you prefer like no bone in a piece of breast that sort of thing personally I'm very much a picker I do like a little bit of a wing and in fact if I do a roast chicken what do I have John yeah wing, wings are your thing because you don't eat an awful lot of food I don't eat an awful lot of meat particularly I just find it quite difficult to digest so um I do tend 
but if I had to choose a cup of chicken, I would go for a wing or a drumstick. Like if we go KFC, I always get a drumstick. Right, they're going back in for the final seven minutes. Now, whilst that's doing, we have prepared, or I've prepared the rest of the ingredients into the glaze. So in here, you've got your pomegranate molasses, some red wine vinegar, some chili flakes. Now the recipe says half a teaspoon of chili flakes. That's entirely up to you. If you want it hotter, put more in. If you don't want it too hot, you know, do fewer, whatever you, you know, suits you. Um, and a dash of water, some cinnamon, and some salt and pepper. So I've done it because it's gonna go into the microwave. You can do it in a saucepan and put it on the hob if you prefer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat this now in the microwave so that when the chicken is cooked, we're gonna put the chicken back into our dish, drizzle over the um, glaze and then put it back in the air fryer for just two minutes to set the glaze and that will make your sticky chicken wings. So this is going to go in the microwave for a couple of minutes to start off with and then I'll take it from there. There we go, that's the first lot done. And the second lot. So they are nicely browned as you can see. Next thing to do is to put them back in a dish. Make sure it's a clean one. I've washed this one up and dried it. Please don't put cooked chicken anywhere near where you've had raw chicken. Put all your bits back in. I have heated up the glaze in the microwave. It literally took a minute and a half but you can do it on the hob if you prefer or you don't have a microwave. There we go. I am going to pour the glaze or drizzle it over the chicken. Now, don't go too mad with it is what I would say. Like there's quite a lot of glaze, but you don't want your chicken to be bathed in it if you like or sat in a puddle of it. Give it all a good stir around again so that you've got glaze all over your chicken. And then we are going to put these back in again, just for two minutes to set the glaze. And then you are done. Now obviously, if you try this and you don't like this glaze, you could do the same recipe with whatever glaze you like. I, did, I was saying to John when we were putting this together, I think that a sweet chilli glaze would be lovely. Or if you're one of these people that like hot sauce, you could put like a sriracha hot sauce type glaze on it. If you're doing a family recipe, you could literally do some honey mustard, that would be good. Some nice runny honey with a little bit of Dijon or even whole grain mustard. So I'm just going to stick these back in for two more minutes and then we're ready to eat. There we go. we have 
a delicious bowl of air fried crispy pomegranate glazed chicken wings. What about that? A little bit of preparation beforehand in as much as you need to leave them to dry out, but very simple after that. Looks absolutely delicious. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you try any other variations on this recipe, please let me know. I'd be really interested to find out how you um, did it and what you thought. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, please make sure that you've hit your notification bell. Come and join us over on Big Oggy World on Facebook, which is our um, public page that you can post pictures and all that sort of stuff over there. And we will see you all again very soon. Hope you enjoy it. Bye for now.